Round two at GIO Stadium. Perfect conditions for rugby league. And the ball's going to come down. And taking it up straight away is Lilliman. And that's good contact over the top straight away by Soliola. And also Boyd. Griffin. Let's lock in. Luke, First touch here. for young Fitzgibbon. Luke. Now Barnett. Soliolo again involved. Also Avili and Austin. This is SASA. So they'll be working to get to the end of their set. Start positively. Lilliman again. And first kick for Mitchell Pierce. He's inside the 40, but it's going to be taken well by Kotrick. He played well in spurts again last weekend. He's a handful. Croker. Over the top of two front rowers, Lilliman and SASA. Now wrapping up. Austin. Papali. So down that left edge. This is Boyd. This is good metres by the, the Raiders. Last tackle to Williams. He puts it up in the air. As Mickey said, the breeze has certainly settled. And the Ross dog, Nathan Ross, takes it. He gets to 20 metres. Good opening set from both sides. Just trading blows at the moment. No surprise that the Knights certainly looking to play through the middle of the Canberra Raiders. Trying to fatigue their big middles as we see Matiatia out of dummy half. Kenny Dowell earns the penalty. And the Knights with the first opportunity to go inside the Raiders half. So, like you said, Mick, a good positive start for both sides. They both made plenty of metres, got to their kick. And the first penalty going the way of the Knights. And so this is going to put them in good position. For an attacking raid. This is Guerra. A real Bondi flavour in this Newcastle side. Watson, Guerra, and also Mitchell Pierce. Be looking to Guerra to work off Mitchell on one of those edges. SASA now. Turns to have a look. So they're only 20 metres out on tackle two. Pierce. Now we've got it out to Moga. He comes, he's going to get close. And so they stop him, he's only a metre out. They came from everywhere then, the Raiders. Ross at dummy half. Oh, Barnett's put it down. So a real opportunity there, God begging. Yeah, they'd be disappointed with that, Barnett. It was an area where the Newcastle Knights were very good. No surprise to see this. Pierce and Ponga, their combination developing last week. Leilua caught holding on his line, and Moga nearly overpowered them. They had some trouble, the Raiders, down that right-hand side of the field last week, and the Knights looking to attack that way early. Yeah, good evening, gents, down here on the sideline. Yeah, as you said, it's the, the wind has dropped off, but Newcastle Knights had 50-odd tackles in the red zone against Manly last week, which is amazing st statistic, and... Possession and completion for the high for them last last week. So they'll be looking to do that again on the opposite camera. I think they only had 10 or 12 against the Titans last week. So they need to play that yardage game and get down that other end of the field. I gave a real good don't argue to Connor Watson. Mataudia over the top. Havili. This is Papali. Now Soliola. And now we've got a penalty. Well, that's two already. We're, we're averaging 20 penalties this round, heading in to this afternoon's game. Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, an average of 20 penalties per game. And already two in the opening five minutes of this contest. It's unusually warm here in Canberra. It's been hot everywhere in New South Wales, but... Oh. Barnett went up and had a shot at Boyd and came off second best. Boom. Williams. 
Now Austin floats it over the top. He finds Rapido. Rapido's got some space. He's tied it up from behind by Ross, but this is enterprising play from the Raiders. Williams again. Soliola, midfield. Barnett's in big trouble, Matty. He's in big trouble. There was some contact with him and Boyd. Short ball to Boyd now from Austin. He's been damaging straight away, Boyd. Soliolo came in at hard, but he's put it down. So we're basically getting a mirror from both sides. Lost opportunities in perfect position. This was the contact. Barnett coming out of the line, the former Raider, and Shannon Boyd. Bang. Get out of my way. And Barnett, he was in big trouble. He was hurting. Coming, boys. Coming. And this was the pass Guys, from Mavili. Right? He put Soliola Wait under all sorts of pressure. Nice That's defense really there from Guerra. An SASA. And an untimely error for the Canberra Raiders as we see Barnett. Risking assessment, actually. Yeah, um, getting assisted. Yeah, he's rattled. Okay. Yeah, and I'll call it. But make sure you go off my vocab, okay? So you don't this hear will it. be a HIA deal. Well, it's a big blow because Barnett is a terrific young player. He was exceptional last week in that CRI? intent and sure. that aggression that he possesses has been to his detriment. He, he was out of his weight division there on Shannon Boyd. And now the Knights already have to go to their interchange benches. Barnett heads for a HIA. Look at the contact. Bang. You had a bit Danny Vadiris on the sideline. Danny, you saw that? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, boys, Barney, no as you spoke about there, Mick, so aggressive and trying to lead the line speed, but you need to pick your targets. Uh, last week uh, against Talanoa in that golden point up there at Newcastle, did the exact same thing, and he's coming back from a shoulder injury as well, so he needs to protect himself a little bit. This is Kenny Dow from the scrum. See you, move! Joey Holton here. So Fitzgibbon. Lilliman. Been busy early. They roll him to his back. That'll slow him down. SASA working up the centre. Get three camera players, put him onto his back. So they're doing a good job in slowing Newcastle up here. Now to Mitchell Pierce, Connor Watson. Blake Austin gets a good shot on him. So fifth tackle. Griffin, back to Mitchell Pierce, puts it up high in the air. This is going to come down well for White. He straightens up and he's taken by Griffin. Safidi has come on for Barnett. Kotrick. It's one of their strengths, the Canberra Raiders. Is their outside backs coming in and looking for work and contract? Yeah, he's a mark hold up. Well, he gets Waiting. the fans involved. Earns his side okay. a penalty on the back of Rapana. Need to release on the first row cab. And then Kotrick charging out a dummy half. Mark, Found his front, got a good play, the ball. And now the Raiders with their first opportunity to get a full set of six inside the Newcastle half. I was saying it's very warm here at Canberra. Not, it's not usual we come to Canberra for a game and say that. <laughs> so Bateman, who's come in for Tuppany and starting on the Boyd. He is a man now. Austin. White. Step and caught it at the same time. Avili, Boyd, Soliola. So they're 10 metres out on tackle four. Midfield, so perfect situation here. They go across to Austin. He dummies! Turns, he tries to swivel out of the tackle. So they've got him on the last. Havili, short ball. Great tackle. On the Papali. Massive tackle. Just, just short. Aiden Guerra, the former rooster. A huge try saving tackle there. Papali nearly spun free. 
So he almost pops out of it here. So they'll be happy with this camera where Newcastle are going to try and work their way out. Only a couple of metres from their own line. Kenny Dow comes in to try and relieve some pressure. But again, Canberra doing a good job. No, that's too long. Yeah, he, he overdid it there, Shannon Boyd. It's been a terrific start to the game for him. It's been very impressive. He started 2018 in tremendous fashion, but the big fella letting out a bit of steam on a winger. You can't blame him. <laughs> They come in and try and terrorise the middle and he just ploughed his head into him. Gave away a, a silly penalty there, really. Relieving for Newcastle. Yeah, a piggyback penalty they didn't need. They had a golden opportunity to really hem him down there and, and Pierce would have been kicking from 30 metres out from his own line. They would have come up with the advantage in field position, you would think. That's a good run from Fitzgibbon. Come down the right side, SASA. Now to Moga. Also a former rooster. So they're just lying all over him at the moment. Leilua got caught up in his legs. So what do you do here, Mick? Well, it looks to me like they're gonna they're gonna continue on here. They're gonna try and fatigue the Raiders and have as much possession as they can possibly have. What's well, positive? Just look for Ponga here. He's got himself in a situation where he's taking the ball off Griffin. Goes the other way, though. The Pierce, he's got runners. And Quera came off a beautiful short ball from Connor Watson. And look for Aiden Quera to be doing that all day. That's a very good try and well worked. Well, you mentioned Kalen Ponga. He sells it on the short side here and they hold four defenders. A lovely ball from Griffin. Pierce to Watson. He attracts the attention of Austin. And a beautiful line on the outside. Look at Pierce. He's direct. Out the back. Watson skips over. Gets on the outside of Papali. Turns in Austin. And then rampaging Aiden Guerra. And the Knights are on the board. Well, that's where he's in most dangerous, Aiden Guerra. Running holes on it those edges. And it comes on the back of, of a penalty from Boyd. They had the Knights exactly where they needed them. Frustration, a silly penalty, as you mentioned, Matt, piggybacked them right down into attacking field position. And Mitchell Pierce, isn't he started the 2018 season in tremendous fashion? Kalen Ponga to try and convert. The Lailua as well, that penalty giving them another set of six tackles. Just got caught up on the legs of Moga. Strikes it. He's got it. So we've had about 12 minutes of play. And a positive start, you've got to say, side by both sides, Mick. There's 6 0 to Newcastle. It's been terrific. Both sides throwing plenty at each other, attacking wise. The Raiders' big men certainly making some inroads, but the Newcastle Knights. Unsung heroes, SASA and Lilliman really holding the fort. And you present the class of peers, Guerra, Premiership players with opportunities. They capitalise. So Austin to get us back underway. It'll be taken by Ross, and now on to Lilliman. Straight into Soliola again. Ross. Yeah, USA, USA. So another good set so far. Tackle four. They've got one more before they'll kick. Camera lying all over them in the play the ball. Griffin almost gets his nose through. This will go to Mitchell Pierce, puts it on the ground. He's going to find touch. So they'll get a bit of a spell. That's experience, Matt. That's experience right there from your number seven, 
driving it into touch in the early rounds, giving his big men a spell. They're having to work hard, having a laugh along the way there too, enjoying himself, his peers. Boys, there's one team that the Knights have had pretty good success over the last couple of years with, and that's the Canberra Raiders, because they play the ball quick. Canberra Raiders have identified that, and they're definitely trying to slow the ruck down. Uh, they've had a good bit of success at that at the start of the match, but there's a few, been a few penalties, so the, the ruck has seemed to quicken up for the Knights. Danny, what's impressed you with Slade Griffin? Mate, just he's, he's a tenacious defender, there's no doubt about that. But the biggest thing I think all the players are getting out of him is that he wants to be the player that they want to stand next to and, and be the number nine and rip in. Danny Levi's the same, but they just know that there's a bit of trust there with Slade Griffin already after 80 minutes last week. So the Raiders prepared to throw the ball around in their own 20. They went down the left-hand side with a play to White. So it's positive. Soliola. Oh, shot from Safidi. The Veerling. Now, boy. That's a great run. He's still going up over halfway. Off the back of a quick play, the ball. They found their front. Avili again. Oh, Malua did well to hold that. He's fallen back. It's gone both ways there, knock on. So a bit scrappy in the end. So knock on Newcastle's the call. Avili out of dummy half. This was the carry from Boyd coming to this. To this contest today in a real mood as Shannon Boyd. Barnstorming run through the centre of the field. Lavilli out with a scrappy pass to Leilua, who in turn tried to offload. Well, I've got doubts over the pass from Lavilli to Whitehead as it was. Nonetheless, the Raiders with the football now. 30, 35 metres out as well, so they get a shot here. Austin. Now White. Trying to get the outside, throws the crate, well that's a good tackle. Over the top by Kenny Dow. Wrapping up. Sneaks a couple of metres. Kotrick from the other side. Looking for work. Williams, the crowd on their feet now. Austin, what are they going to do here? Whiten, beautiful ball out. That's good football by the Raiders. And so with an opportunity they've given, I think we've got a Number try. Four coming up. We have a try. Confirm that he stays in the field. See it again. What a finisher. Yeah, that's good. No drama with that. Yes, Jordan. You can see that Jordan Rapata grounds the ball in the in goal. We have a decision. He's become a crowd favourite, has Jordan Rapana down here in the nation's capital. And for just that very reason, beautiful play from Jack White. Summed it up perfectly. Caught Nathan Ross in field. And the cutout pass pinned perfect, and Rapana did the rest. Incredible in that set of six. He came from the other side of the field. Yes. You see in the bottom of your corner there of your screen. He's still adjusting and white the double pump Pinpoint pass Rapina the one-handed put down and all of a sudden the Canberra Raiders They hit back and he likes it against the Knights Rapina. That's his sixth try in five matches against those that side so He's become one of the out and out specialist wingers in this competition. He is always looking for work, so hard to contain. He had nine tackle breaks last week. He's a real handful around the ruck, but he's a superb finisher. Now, Jared Croker. He tried out the extras. Set. Strikes it. Looks good. That's a goal. There we go with six all. Six all after 18 minutes of play. And a high quality start. And that was remarkable play for Rabana. He took a hit up on the other side of the field, adjusted, came all the way around to finish and score in the corner.
He had plenty to do as well. It's a six all. Pong at a restart play. Goes high, they've got to run after that. So White. And you lose! Let's go! Stay square corner. Okay. Trying hey! to start his feet to get Three. another quick play of the ball. He manages to do that. That's a good run from Bateman. And it was good. Williams. Austin. Inside the Whitehead. Mitchell Pierce went high. It's going to be a penalty. There's nothing in that. Hit him in the head. Yeah. Just a brush over the nose there from Pierce to Whitehead. And now the Raiders. They, well, the Knights are inviting them into this contest. So Whitehead again. Soliala. Boy. Finds his front, struggling to get up again. Avili, Soliala with a. Good run off a short Take ball. So only eight metres out on the third tackle. Boy! Oh, he hits the post. I thought he was going to get there. Oh, he's come out of the line quickly as Moda, and that's a penalty. Tata Moda offside. Well, he probably had to do that, Nick. Yeah, he read it perfectly. It Unfortunately for Moda, he's offside. And Ashley Klein, he's all over it. Guys, we've got to wait for the foot to touch the ball. Sam Williams Sam, barking the instructions here None to the Raiders. Either. Shannon Boyd has been, you, what you been outstanding. Dr. Dr. Ashley. Matty, he lost his test jersey in 2017, and he spoke about the hurt. Yeah. And he's responded in 28, and he was exceptional. This was an enormous tackle from Fitzgibbon. Yeah, had to be On the try line, got him on his back, and Ponger assisted. Shades of Friday night. But it, it's a Lazarus-like performance. He, he's run for 70 metres already, Mick. Incredible. He's such a handful. And his opening stanza, his opening 20, 25 minutes last week against the Gold Coast Titans was brilliant. And his return serve here in round two on home soil. It's just dominant performance so far by Boyd. It's a couple of seasons ago, I think it was Napa who had a similar sort of impact in a match as a, as a front rower. Yeah, against South Sydney. Took it to the Burgess right. boys. He did. 80 minute performance it was from Napa. I don't know if Shannon Boyd's lungs will let him do that this evening. So Croker to put them ahead. Strikes it. There's no drama there. So, a very entertaining match so far after 20 minutes of play. We've got Canberra 8, Newcastle 6. Well, it's just some more bad news on the back of that two points uh, for the Newcastle Knights. Uh, Mitchell Barnett won't be back tonight. That is disappointing. There we go, go Richard. It's a big loss. It has huge ramifications on your interchange when you lose someone that can play such big minutes. We see him there. Stay behind, behind your kicker. See, not well, Barnett. Disappointing for the Knights. Well, that was on the back of the man we've been talking about, Shannon Boyd. Kotrick has the ball. Oh, geez, he plays his bubble weight, this kid, Bateman. Stand now! Yes, Johnny, take him Marcus, Marcus! No fear there. Papali. So the Knights need to hem him down here. Slow the play, the ball down. There's been a lot of momentum on the back of this man. Boyd again. That's what he's doing. He's finding his front all the time, Mick, and getting up and playing it quickly. And they've got to roll on again. Soliola. Oh, Bateman again. So Williams inside the 40. He's going to punch that down. It's going to be taken by Kenny Dow. So he's got some room. Nice bump on Croker. We copped a big bump last week from Conrad Hurrell. 
didn't he? Oh. Left him dazed. And Kenny Dale has gone after him again. Now the limit. Working it up over halfway. Comes reeling out of the tackle there in your replay box. Big contact this afternoon here. This is Ross. So, good position here for the Knights. Ponga. Pierce. Watson gets to the outside. He's got it to Bataria. He's tied it up in the end by Papali. Watson. Pierce is going to put it in the air here. So they've got Moga chasing, and Ross is going to have a leap at it. That's well taken by Rapina. Hold here. Hold here. Good shot. Who time, time. was that? Slate that was Griffin. Slate Griffin. He didn't miss him. He's in trouble. He's got something to his knee here, I think. Contact all okay, Maddie? Yes, mate. Just strong tackle bent back over. Oh, he's just bent that back. You don't want to see that. No. Yes. It's his right leg here gets stuck underneath. Fitzgibbon right. and Ben. Oh, yuck. Yep. Am, I, am I in range there? Or? So I hope he's all right. Joey Lalea, he's such a big part of their side. Yeah. 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 Right on. Yeah, Keep holding 10, Jacob. Just when you mark it down on that goal line. Make this sure would be an interesting line. blow. And if you're not, just hit. If he was to come on the field. Much. He's back on his feet. Well, no, he doesn't look no, good at all. He doesn't look good at all. But... Aiden Caesar on the bench this evening. The Shannon Boyd gets a standing ovation from the the Canberra faithful. But this could prove a real reshuffle here for the Raiders if Leilua is to leave the field. That is an outstanding 23 minutes by Shannon Boyd. As good as we've seen from a front row up early in the season. Excuse me for my ignorance. Is, is he New South Wales or Queensland? No, New South Walshman. Yeah, we don't get many of these days. No. But uh, he's well, he certainly his hand up. Freddie one of those Watson guys, Matt, that, that played Test good. football before he, he played State of Origin, and then, uh, much like the, the Raiders' form as a team last year, I he's am, too yeah. deteriorated yeah, and wasn't a part of here, State of Origin scene yeah, after playing for more. Australia at the back end of 2016. But boy, is he hit the ground running in 2018. Yeah, well, he's got his hand up at the moment. Aiden didn't tell me that. I mean, Danny Madeira's down there, just watching closely, grinning, smiling. <laughs> well, that's one position. There's a, some guys in a real lot of form, and one boy, Jake Javorovic. How good was he this afternoon for the Manly Seagulls? Well, he's had a great start this season. 54 nil, Manly have beaten Parramatta there at Brookvale Oval. So uh, you'd be lying if you said you saw that coming. Absolutely. Unless you were a tragic Manly fan. And that'd be stretching it. Danny Medeiros, he's coached six games in the NRL. Run me through uh, Brad Arthur's sleep pattern tonight, Danny. <laughs> well, I told you, Mick, it was about 349 minutes and 60, <laughs> about 60 seconds, yeah. So <laughs> I did have it on countdown, but that's bad news for the uh, Canberra Raiders there. Big BJ tried to get up and succumb to that. That's uh, a real tragic injury for BJ. So I'll, get, I'll chase it up for you and get a report. It's a huge loss. As I said, it's, we see a reshuffle. Dunamis Louis has come on. So I don't know what Ricky Stewart's plans are here. But it looks as though Elliot Whitehead has moved out to the centre position. So here we go, White. Ooh, it's support on the outside with Kotrick. So they're chancing their arm inside their own half. So this is Paul who's on. So Austin, it's a bit of a spiral on it, so it's coming down for Paula. He takes it. Super tight. Yep. Oh. Just about his first touch last week after three minutes of play in a Newcastle Knights jersey and scored a try and had plenty to do. Moga, half a hole. Mitchell Pierce getting behind his forwards. This is Fitzgibbon. That's a good run. Battling for the metres. Now SASA, no. 
Safidi. Safidi. Jacob's come onto the field. He came on for Jacob Lilliman. Uh, Pearson, Connor Watson just dropped that goal. So a let off there for the Raiders. Papali will play it. But then the short side with Croker. Griffin's all over him. Kotrick will run this. It's a good tackle for Mitchell Pearce. Williams, that's sloppy. What's he going to say here? Well, he's just lost it. Well, Watson came up with the error for the Knights, turned the football over cheaply. And now Kotrick's followed suit, trying to play the ball quickly. Yeah. He's made a meal of that. You mentioned Mitchell Pearce coming in and, and rallying his forwards. So smart is Pearce. He recognises that Whitehead has come into the position, into the right, right centre position with no lay lure. And he wants to attack there. Okay, shot clock off. Right here, guys, we'll call it. Out! So, Newcastle with the ball, Nathan Ross, he straightens up. And we're going to have a penalty here. Sam Williams went high. Takes the ball, runs quickly. So, Ross catching him unawares. So, Newcastle with a great opportunity here. Pierce. Now, Safidi. So, the 90 metres out. Tackle two. Pierce again. The other Safid. Pierce. Ponga. Oh. Beautiful ball under Fitzgibbon. But you can put that down to Caelan Ponga. And the Knights are in. See it again. Well, this is shades of 97 when the Johns brothers used to throw long balls, the width of the pass from Griffin to Pierce. Getting Ponga one on one, he isolates defenders. Look at this, attracts Williams and Soliola. And Fitzgibbon, well, he's become a real try scorer in the Knights. They're back in front for the second time this evening. Kalen Ponga, what a star. So both tries come down both edges with similar type of plays. But Kalen Ponga. Well, it was a really nice play from Mitchell Pearce on the play before. Again, he was attracting the attention of Papali in Austin and then swung back this side of the field. The width from Griffin, superb. And Pearce just needed to get the ball to Pong up because he knew he had space. And one on one, this kid is almost unstoppable with that footwork. He's a big man, too. So, just over 12 minutes left in the first half. Kalen Ponga to try and stretch this lead to four. After laying on a try for young Lachlan Fitzgibbon. Who's it? No drama there. So, 12 over Newcastle down to Danny. Yeah, what a strike weight for Lachlan Fitzgibbon. That's seven tries in seven games for him, and he's just running that line so superb. And what you got there, you got the ball playing ability of Kalen Ponga. Ball in two hands. Just watch the way he makes Sam Williams sit. Sam Williams just goes up, and then he just sits there. And if you've got a great back row, it runs a good line, and a ball playing ability with some speed and some lateral movement like Kalen Ponga, you're in all sorts of trouble. Danny, the issue for the Raiders at the moment is that they're getting up a few metres and they're holding. When you get someone with Caelan Ponga with that speed, it just isolates defenders. As we see Moga. Just a report to you guys on BJ Lalia. It uh, looks like a high, high ankle sprain at the moment, moment, a bit of syndesmosis. That's a really good for here, big battle. So it's just a feeding of the ball. Ross coming in to give the forwards a break. So there's four Canberra players in the tackle, trying to slow it up. Pierce inside the 40. That's a good kick. So White. 
straight into Guerra. So a couple of the bigger camper players are struggling to get back. Mickey, Paulo. Well, it was this point in the game, as we see Whitehead coming to help out the forwards, where the Titans really started to swing momentum. Sue's on the pavement. They're looking a bit flat here, Canberra. Austin steps inside. That's a good run off the back of a quick play of the ball. That's better from Canberra. Williams, he puts it in the air. It's going to come down for Ponga pretty easily. So he's got some space. Caesar, who's come on, wraps him up with Paulo. Tauria, now Pierce, Moga, he's got some space. That's come off a Canberra player. This is going to be play on, Ross. It's all scrappy there. Oh, so what's happened here? Well, the touch he's come on. He's not fine, it's touched down by Canberra. OK, what's happened then is the Newcastle player has taken the Canberra work out of play, so you're not going to gain any advantage playing the knock-on. So that's a scrappy bit of play. Shot clock, Ash. Shot for European soccer there. <laughs> Gotta let the wingers have some fun. They get lonely out there, Matty. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's bring it in. It's an important ten and a half minutes here for both sides. Saw the Raiders fall out of the game up on the Gold Coast last week and the Knights. Well, they ended up in a contest right down to the wire going to Golden Point. It's been a terrific first half. Pierce down the short side. We're going to call that back, are we? OK, so it's come off a Newcastle player onto another one. So... It's a bit of bad luck there from the Newcastle Knights. Well, this is what I'm talking about. Both sides now starting this to allow some errors to creep into their game. Bit of fatigue setting in. Like I said, it's an unusually hot day here in Canberra. The shot clock going here. Luke Bacon, you mentioned playing above his way. 21 tackles already. Need in one the more. opening half hour, huge numbers Ten there. seconds, boys. Wait for me. For the Raiders, lost. So Caesar from the back of the scrum. Williams, Paulo standing out wide. White gets it on now to wrap him up. He beats. He beats one. It was Moga. He beat and pushes him away again. So here we go, Campbell with a full set. 20 metres out. 30 metres out. Excuse me. This is Louis, Caesar, Williams, back on the inside to Paulo, swivels away from Safidi, then gets it back to Caesar. So only two metres out. Williams. That's Louis. He's only a metre short. Caesar again. Williams. Papali stops. Papali! Almost through. Williams puts it in the air. We've got a chaser. Back on the inside, I think it's a try. I think Whitehead scored it. After Rappiner has knocked it back in the field of play. And it is. So camera hit back. What about Rappiner? What about the confidence of this man? Flies over the top of Ross. We see here, Caesar, a long pass. Williams has to reach. A pinpoint kick. He sails high, recognises that he may go out. Inside to Whitehead. And the Raiders hit back. Fantastic play. Whitehead in great position. What a play from Rapana. You see there, Williams... 
perfectly weighted kick over the top of Ross. He tries to get Rabiner into touch. And the backpack was perfect. And Whitehead, who has moved into that right centre position for the injured Leilua. He gets his first try of the evening. He's a good player, Elliot Whitehead. So versatile. We've seen this on a number of occasions. In 2017, Jared Croker missed the start of the season with injury. He spent a number of games there and excelled. And tonight hasn't missed a beat since Leilua left the field with, as Danny Badiris predicted, a, an ankle injury. And now Croker with the opportunity to put the Raiders in front with seven minutes remaining. So that was good play leading up to that try as well. Papali had gone close. So the momentum just swung a little bit back Canberra's way after a bit of a dead spot. We spoke about a bit of fatigue setting in. So if Croker can kick this, you look to Canberra to get their tails in the air. It's not going to come around, so we're at 12 all. No. Well, boys, this is where it's at on the right side of the field here. Jordan Rapana, such a crowd favourite. Even Ross having a little battle. It's been really good to watch down here, right on uh, pitch side. But he makes everything look so easy. And that's a lot of practice going into there. And very well done from Elliot Whitehead. As you spoke about, so versatile, so important this Raiders team. I think Nathan Brown will be disappointed at half-time. Every time the Knights have looked clean with the football and come up with points, they've allowed the Raiders back into the contest. As we mentioned, some errors creeping into their game. And Ponga, he gets us back underway. So Kotrick, this is Paulo. So a crucial period here now for both sides, as you said, Mickey. Louis finds his front. Charlie Gubb. First grade to boot. Now Papali. White goes for a run. And makes good leaders up the middle. It's still going. This has been good, White. Excuse me, it was uh, Gubb's club to boot for the Raiders. Now you mentioned Charlie Gubb. It's been a big weekend for Charlie and his partner. Charlie coming over from the New Zealand Warriors and his partner. Well, she played her first game for the women's Brumby side last night. Here's some vision here. So a big weekend for both of them making their de debut for both Canberra sides. That is a hairstyle and a half that Charlie Gov's got going on there. She's a fair old do. Couldn't pull that one off, Matty. <laughs> well, you try. <laughs> you would have been all over that, Ennis. <laughs> I definitely would have thrown me out of camp, but as we see. Eddie Bureau needs to go off. He was with the trainer. He, he's packed, mate. No, no, no. He's packed. Who's the penalty against? Camber for not well, we packing. Got some confusion going on here. Yeah. And they're arguing. You didn't pack. They packed. Where are dinner packed? He was in. So that's a great fight. School hit. Yes, yeah, some confusion. Yeah. Break up. That's what we're doing. Where is this one? Talking to the referee, Pierce wants to get on with it and does so. Comedy there. Can someone explain that there? That was the night's feed and the buzzer went off and there was an injury to Guerra. Let's go, Charlie. So what did it look like from up there? Oh look, I don't know what happened there, Betsy. They're saying that uh, Guerra left the field with the trainer and the Knights had packed, but the Raiders players hadn't by the time the buzzer went off. Safidi. This is Jacob. Pierce back on the inside. To Hines and he's on. Pierce. Watson. This is Mataria. Yeah. Then we're going to go back here, Matt, for a, a late tackle on Mitchell Pierce. We've seen this over the first two rounds. 
And the referee's all over late contact on the ball Can't players. Was that a penalty? Was it? Jared? I'll give it to you in a second. Just heard they're going to take this a one. shot of goal okay. here. Yeah. Uh, we've got time now. So what's happened there? T has improved in his outing this afternoon and tonight. It's, it's Connor Watson. The way he's going to the line and we've done a lot of vision. Is that late shot on Mitchell Pearce and big junior Paulo. But just the way he's going to the line, he's squaring up a lot more. And you guys packed, that's why we're missing this. Yeah, but you need to be packed. Certainly looked like a shoulder charge there from Paulo. He was in the no scrum. attempt. He was in the scrum. Jared Croker is still arguing with Ashley Klein about the, the scrum penalty that left us all a little perplexed. But Paulo may find himself in a bit of trouble there. No attempt to wrap his arms around Pearce. And it's a great point that Danny makes about Connor Watson. Last week, I thought Griffin, Ponga and Pierce extremely direct. Watson at times too lateral. But tonight, uh, obviously really, really coming to the game with a focus to square up that left-hand side defence for the Canberra Raiders and doing a tremendous job. So Ponga is going to put the Knights ahead, 14-12. Got two minutes, 45 seconds left in the first half. The Knights faithful, they've made the long trip down. And at the moment, their side doing a fine job here in the nation's capital. So Austin will get us back underway. So Newcastle are going to want to work to their kit. They'll get one more shot, the Raiders. Safidi. Oh, good contact with Soliola. So Ross. Griffin. On to Safidi. Let's go, Joseph. So tackle three. They come back the other side. Hyington did well to take that ball and was met heavily by Soliola. So they're slowing it down here at the Raiders. Getting sloppy. This is Fitzgibbon. He's got a very good try a few minutes ago. Now Pierce is going to put that. He really went for a touch. Came off a Canberra player. Yep. Well, here we go, Matty. One minute on the clock. And if there's a side that can pile on points quickly, it's the Canberra Raiders. They'll have a shot. And they should get a number of plays in here on the stroke of half time. So Whitehead. Louie. So 45 seconds left. Let's have a look where Caesar is. He's with the ball now. Cuts out Gut now. Hey, Caesar! Sorry, no, it's Austin. He's in the backfield, gets away from one. Oh, and Nathan Ross takes the tackle and he had to make it. He plays it quickly. Rapina, fire it out to Gut. Gut now to Williams. He shaped the kick, he doesn't. Shapes to Louie, does. He goes back to Whitehead. So 15 seconds left, and we've got a penalty here to Canberra. <laughs> it's almost a symbol, uh, symbol of fence, isn't it? The way it's been going the last couple of games. So they're going to take a shot. So Austin got into the backfield. We spoke about it. If there was a side that we're going to have a shot. Well, he's tested them on a number of occasions. He gets them sliding. And it's Watson who turns out. Guerra does his best, slides off. And Austin slides them straight open. And it was a big one-on-one -on -one tackle there from Nathan Ross. Come up with some big plays defensively in this set of six. Sure. And they run out of ideas as the set unfolded. And now Jared Croker with the opportunity to send us all square at half time with a kick 15 metres in from touch. So. Looked good when he runs the ball. 
Blake Austin. So it's just a bit of indecision from Connor Watson who was able to get past we're up, so we're going to go to half time at 12 or 14 all, excuse me. So here we go, Pong is going to kick us off. Second half. So as the sun starts to set here, we're away. This is Paulo, straight into Guerra. So Caesar is out there. Bateman. He's been the top tackler for the Raiders. Gutsy little footballer. Just the type of player Ricky Stewart to be warm to, you reckon? This is Whitehead. So Caesar playing out, uh, sorry, Caesar, sorry, Caesar playing out of dummy half. Austin. White, Croker, he's got some space. The tackle from the town, he'll need to be made. And he's played for a penalty and he'll get it. Yeah, silly penalty there from Sione Batautia on the last play. Quite just over there, mate. Inviting the Raiders in the opening minutes of this second half into some really good attacking field position. And you would imagine that they would go back to Rafa up this side of the field has had enormous success throughout this contest. So Papali, been relatively quiet. Papali, that's a good run. Payton, now Austin, stepping off his left. So he's willing to run it. After slicing through just before we've gone over the top half time, we've got another penalty. We can't go over the top of him like that. He's climbed right over the top of him. Yeah, Austin, he, he chanced his arm. He saw Ponga in the line, took him on. And another penalty, and the Raiders on the attack. So Paulo in the middle of the field, five metres out. Caesar, options both sides. Goes to Williams. Cuts out Soliola to right. One on one with Mitchell Pearson. It's a tackle that needed to be made. And another penalty. So, how many is that? He says that's an accident. Mitchell, let's be careful. Does actually climb, but nonetheless, it's the third penalty. In the opening two and a half minutes of the second half, and Canberra, well, they're well entrenched and hungry for points. Caesar to Bateman. Now Louis. So great opportunity here again for Canberra. Caesar, Williams. He decides to have a run. That's a big tackle from Chris Hyington over the top. It's like something out of the WWE. Caesar. Sorry, Austin on to Papali. Well, they're stacked to the right-hand side of the field. Here we go. White, Papali, Louis, Williams, Soliano at speed. Good tackle again from Mitchell Pearce. Williams puts it in the air. Where's Kotrick? He's up high. And Kenny Dow came down with it, but we've got a knock on. So Canberra get another set. Just waiting for these boys here. What a tackle from Mitchell Pearce on Soliola. Isolated one on one, the width from the Raiders. This was his first one. Save the day, Jack White slicing through. Heinington on Williams, back slammed him. Boom. They're brave, the Newcastle Knights, but how long can they be brave for Kenny Dow? Well, it was a messy contest. Kodrick had his hands in there, but Kenny Dow pulls the ball towards his own try line. Let's wait, Blake, I'll tell you when. Let's go. And the Raiders sustain possession. It's just so hard to contest the ball when you're not the one running after it with that momentum. Williams, now Paulo standing out the back line, pushes away from Griffin. They got a ball away, and a right hand's got his second. Oh, good luck. He's going to award a 
tries, and they all laid off him. Well, he had absolutely no right, no right whatsoever. But such is the awareness and the instinctiveness of Whitehead. The pass from the Raiders, Williams to Paulo, standing off the scrum, he isolates Griffin, fending away, there's three in the tackle, and look at Whitehead, never gives up, never gives up on his big front rower, and he gets the left arm free, and Whitehead, and the Raiders back in front. That is an amazing ball. <laughs> look at the surprise from Whitehead. That was an incredible pass from Paula, who has been destructive. But the Knights, it's not the start they were after, Nathan Brown's men. Penalty after penalty after penalty. To Paula with an error. And the Raiders, with that amount of possession, they find points. So Croker to extend it to six points. He's very nimble on his feet for a big man, Paulo, and that's where he caught him out. He changed direction a couple of times before he got to the line. He got three people in and then managed to get the pass away. Almost reminded me of Paul Osborne in that grand final. Was he? Shell Mage there. <laughs> Crowback. No mistakes are down on the sideline to Benzi. Yeah, what a ball. That's one thing we haven't seen tonight. There's many offloads from both these teams. I think that's only the third offload for the whole match. And there's nothing nothing better. Nothing better than seeing a big boy offloading to someone that's anticipating the ball. Uh, just on the halftime report from the Raiders, Vicky Stewart only feels the Knights are scoring off the opportunities that they're giving them through lack of uh, oh, discipline and penalties and errors. And for the Knights, they need to get down the other end. They feel that every time they get down the other end, they come away with points. Most definitely points left in this game on either side, I, I would imagine. Both sides with some real attacking potent weapons, so you'd expect points. Papali, driven back. Paula, again changing direction. Bateman, and a Louis. Bateman again, staying busy. Louis with his second touch in this set, and that's a good run. So Austin is inside the 40. It's going to go straight down to Ponga with some room to move. So Steffi. He's dangerous every time he has the ball. When we came here this evening, well, I thought it would be a high-scoring game, Matty. And it's the side. Danny Badira says it there. I gather both coaches at halftime are saying to their sides that there's points in both these sides defensively. But it's those critical moments. Who's willing to stay in the fight, stay in the battle, as we see a nice chip. Moga. Now to Nathan Rossner. This is their first set of six and a half. So they've been starved of possession, the Knights. This is Safidi, Jacob Safidi. Canberra slowing it down. Nothing light. It's put in the air from Pierce. And Kotrick lost the ball. Guerra's got it. It's play on at six more. So, a goal and chance now for the Knights to hit back. Pierce. Daniel Safidi. So, both brothers on. Griffin. Pierce, he steps. He has a go, Mitchell Pierce. He's close. So, he's only a meter out. He's playing for a penalty. Griffin. Ponga, beautiful ball on the Moga, and they are in, and it will be six points. Yep. Over Troy. Well, yep. he was casual in the put down. Okay. 
Jed's coming up to tackle three. We have a try. Okay, just confirm that there is no obstruction. See it again. They're looking at uh, Lachlan Fitzgibbon on the lead run. It doesn't have any impact in the play. There is contact. And he is on the outside shoulder. And by the letter of the law, you can't run in that position. And he does make contact with Williams. Sam Williams made minimal contact with the lead runner. The Hasn't side. impacted the defensive line. I think Ball it's goes the right to the call. outside. Well, I like that call. It's common sense. What a star we're seeing here. Matty Nable, Kalen Ponga. They're going to check the, the touching in goal. That's a try. Like it remains in the field of playing grounds of ball. We've got a decision. So, well, Croak is arguing the letter of the law as we see the decision. It's a try. So it's tit for tat here at the moment. And Newcastle with their first set of six tackles in the second half have scored. Well, again, both sides defensively. This was the six to go play where Guerra came up with the football. And again, it's Kotrick and Kenny Dale competing for the football. But Kalen Ponga, his ball playing this evening has been all first class. And Tao Tao Moga, well, he strolls over. And as I mentioned, Matt, both these sides have conceded points. And it's it's who's going to buy into the defensive capabilities this evening that'll win this football game. Both sides need to be more resilient on their try line. So Ponga, so he slots it over. So it's 20 all here. 30 minutes left to play. Down to Betsy. Well, it took three minutes last week to get all the Knights fans out of their seats for young Caitlin Ponga to really light that place up. And they're up out of their seats again here. But the way he just went to the line, just a bit of tempo run, just summed it up, an easy three on two for him, just shelling peas. And we always talk about the players with the time, but he's 19, this kid, he's got plenty of time in every aspect. Just a wonderful talent. So Blake Austin, start us off again. I feel like we might be doing a bit of this with 30 minutes to go. Here we go with Safidi. This is Daniel. Sorry, Jacob. Now Kenny Dow coming in to relieve some pressure. Daniel Safidi. Point. The journeyman, the workhorse. He gets up and plays it. Again, Safidi. So this is a good set from Newcastle. 60 metre gain. They're close to it in the air. They've let it go, Canberra. White brings it down. They all just stood around and had a look. Now Rappina beats two, beats another. Griffin comes back for a second go. Some help from Watson and Guerra. Parley, second man playing. All down at a concert. He's down the side. Beats one. With Safidi still going concert. Still going concert. And Mitchell Pierce has to tidy him up. Now Caesar, they've got numbers out here. On the wrap it up. He's got inside the Whitehead. Whitehead tosses it back. Williams, no. So a meter out. Third tackle. They've still got a couple up their sleeve. It's a poor pass, but it's taken by Paulo. He pushes away. Now on to Bateman. Now to Austin. To Papali showing the ball. Papali! So five metres out, tackle five. Austin rubs it in. Oh, oh Clayton Ponga. Brilliant hands. That is brilliant. 
Well, what a set defensively from the Newcastle Knights. Their scramble defence. I set aside, needed to show resiliency, and they just did that on their try line. And what about the pickup from Ponga? There's Matautia up over the 40 metre line. Look at it here. Austin Grubbers, and that speed off his toes. Yes, what a brilliant. game. What a game he's having, Ponga. We've got play on here. The camera players were appealing, and everyone stopped playing. Griffin didn't. Ponga, again with some time. Moga on a Nathan Ross. He's got support inside. He puts it on the toe. Try! I don't think he's got it down. I think Ponga wants to drop it. Lee Sane, hell, try. Hell, hell, hell. Okay. Chibs. We have no try on the zero tackle. Oh. He's saying he's got it back down. He's saying Confirm he's regathered Connor Watson it. Watson knocks the ball on and does not regain the ball. I think it's in the end goal area, so it's probably a 20 minute restart. So let's have a look at this. Yes, yeah, so lovely kick. We can see the Newcastle kick chase is on side. Well. Couldn't get the ball. So it's given. Yeah. Set up perfectly for him. No. No try. Okay, so we've got a tackle chins with Junior Polo. Josh Pye, sorry. Look at the desperation from Jordan Rappen. If he doesn't put himself in the picture there. Connor Watson, Watson knocks the ball on in the field of play. We have a decision. I'm not going to play the ball there. Then Watson scores for all money. Such is the competitive nature. Rappen up again, here, competing here. and forces the error from Watson. And a try goes Beggy. So it's opening right up here at Canberra. No it's try. It's in the field of play. Look at that. It's it's going to be a scrum. Scrum. End. It's it's attacking a football. The fans getting their money's worth here this evening. We've got a great seat down here, guys. We're talking about Kalen Ponga. You know, we're going a bit, bit nuts at him, but it's so no, no, exciting no, no. to see a young kid just taking a game by the scruff of the neck. But I'm loving Nick Kotrick from the Canberra Raiders out in this left wing. He's got so much ability. He just wants to make everything a contest, especially when someone's trying to tackle him. No way in the world, but he wants to go down for that tackle. He's just a real well-balanced runner and someone with a huge future in our game. See ya, Josh. Arms around each other, guys. So a good crowd have come out here on a Sunday Lock night. 12,626. Feet down, Lachlan. A lot of good kids crowd. here. Yeah, they love their football down here in Canberra. And what an intimidating place it is to come and play. And it'll get more intimidating as the weather drops. Now White has been good for Canberra. Such a competitor. Very good, Louis, off the bench. Very, very good. Extremely involved. Caesar. Now Papali. Good tackle, solid tackle from Griffin. Stand down! Go for it. Now Williams inside 40. It's a 40 it's a good kick. He's got it. He's got it. Here we go. Strap yourselves in again. The Raiders on the attack. This could be a professional foul. Camera Raiders all become referees here. Holding up their hands to give. Out of the way, Matty. Tough. Huh? Ready, Ash? The 10 minutes in, Big. Right here. Whoever slowed them down. Here we go again now. Louis. It's an important set for the Newcastle Knights defensively. A huge set. So Austin, this is Whiten, takes him on. Papali, he'll have a go. And we've got another penalty here to Canberra. That's good. You went square though, you're too fine. So what do they do here? Bike. You suggest they'll have a go, there's so much we space. Any other game they take the two. It's reasonable time only, so he doesn't the space restart. we've seen, this it's evening, you would imagine the Raiders would put the foot on the pedal. Hold here. They have. <laughs> Feel like they've got the foot on the throat of the, the Knights here. This is Paulo, who's been a handful. So hard to put down. 
And we've got another penalty. This has got to be 10 minutes, is it? That's two in a row. They're actually going to build up. No. Back here. Where's Mitchell? I was going to have a Mitchell. word there. Yeah, this is no really the official area. warning. Stay over there. No. No more. Let's go. Two. Ash, we're going for two, mate. Well, that surprises me. Yeah, I didn't think that, but not only was Christian there, you had another player in there. So you had two players in there. That's two penalties in this set. Last time we were down, I gave you the benefit of the doubt. We've been in this area, we've given away four penalties. We're tackling them two minutes after the line, and they're playing around holding blokes' arms down. Okay, and that's fine, and I'll rule that as I see fit, okay? But at the moment, I think it's your guys that aren't coming out. Mitchell, take this opportunity to speak to the guys, because when we get back down to the area... The bench coming right down here, guys, when that penalty is awarded. Mitchell, take this opportunity to speak to the guys, because when we get back down to the area... The bench coming right down here, guys, when that penalty is awarded. Coach Brett White, the assistant. Ran straight out there with the two fingers pointed, pointing up to the sky, and he knew what was wanted. Ricky Stewart wanted that, and it's a great call at 20, 20 all with 24 minutes to go. You can go into front any time like this. Definitely take the two. So Croker coming up to take the attempt. Been good off the boot tonight, Croker. Four from five. This one from out wide on the right hand side of the field in the first half, but this one will kick with his eyes closed. Just get a feeling there's a lot of points left in this, Ricky. Yeah, absolutely. Both sides expansive, creating chances. It's been some really good performances from players on both sides. Young Whitehead has been outstanding. It's been good and mentioned Paulo I think the rotation for the Raiders tonight the likes of Louis and Paulo off the bench have been superb and we get to see Shannon Boyd who was outstanding in the opening 20 minutes come back into the fray for the Newcastle Knights Brock Lamb into the action for the first time this evening so Pong out to get us started again don't go anywhere after this match of course we got Sunday night with Matty Johns and tonight He's got a real coup, Ivan and Nathan Cleary appearing together. So that will be riveting conversation. Both, both men had an extremely good day yesterday. Obviously, I, uh, Ivan coaching the Tigers. We went down and upset the Melbourne Storm. And Billy's 300th and Nathan superb again against South Sydney, leading the Panthers to a victory. And this is Gub. Looking to offload, gets his arms free. This is tackle five, so a good set from the Raiders. Blake Austin's going to put that on the toe and into touch. That's a really good set from the Raiders. They can see that Slade Griffin and Connor Watson are in the middle, both together. Slade Griffin dropped back to play middle forward as a lock position, and then Connor's switching to the hooker role. So a little bit small in the middle, and you can see the Canberra Raiders are a big team. They're going to go flooding straight through there. He's been good play, Austin, tonight, with football in hand. In a smart play, also there, by driving the ball into touch, he takes out the involvement of Kalen Ponga, who has been electric in this second half. It's been a good quality game, so lots of good players are doing their job, doing it really well. Kenny down now. Both coaches getting exactly what they want from the bench. SASA back on. So it won't be long before Shannon Boyd returns, Mickey. And they get a kick out of that, the Raiders. Griffin taking the ball off Connor Watson. Pierce, face ball on the Moga. He's got some room to move, but Whitehead. And wrapping up, and Williams, Pierce, Hyington, last tackle. They're going to run it here. Put in the air by Lamb, who's come on. White has got it. He's lost it behind him, and we've got a penalty here, which will go to the Raiders. Inside the 10 metres. Going into this, this last 20 minutes, the end of sets is so crucial for both teams. 
You can't give a penalty away. You've got to be really disciplined in the end of sets. Finish off pinning either team into a corner off their own line. Six penalty there for the Canberra Raiders in the second half. Nathan Brown won't be pleased with the discipline of the Newcastle Knights. Really inviting the Raiders into good attacking position as Gubb up over the 40 metre line. Yeah, this is Avili who's come on. Austin, Croker, Nathan Ross read that well, came in. So six penalties in a row to care, but nothing for Newcastle in the second half. That'll make for interesting conversation at a press conference if the Knights do go down. And it continues that way. There's an offload here. And the Caesar on the Austin on the inside. Got a ball back to Joker. And Canberra going over the posts. That's a great try. Well, we saw it last time when Paulo got his arm free. This time it's Havili. And Caesar reacts. So too does Austin. He loves broken field. We see here Havili. Carries into the line. Stewart's brought him into the fray in an attacking role in the lock position. Gets the arm free. Caesar, he attacks. Austin recognises they haven't come across on the inside and links up with the skipper, Jared Kroger. And the Raiders extend their lead 26 points to 20 with a kick to come. So just good football from break and play. A good option coming inside. Austin and then onto the captain. You can see the jubilation in the face of Papali and Aiden Caesar. So Canberra with an opportunity to extend their lead to eight points with 18 minutes left. So the momentum at the moment with Canberra. Six penalties in a row will do that. And that's what it is. Again, it's it's the discipline of the Newcastle Knights that it just when you play a side like the Canberra Raiders that are so big and so dominant through their forwards. You cannot give them a wealth of possession. And that's what the Knights have done in this second half. Whilst when they get down on Canberra's, uh, Canberra's end of the field, they have come up with points. The Raiders, again, have let in 20 points tonight. But it's this wealth of possession that the Knights have given the Raiders. And their attacking weapons coming to the forefront. And this man, Jared Kroger, to convert his own try. And flawless so far. He's got it. And he missed the one kick. Jared Kroger, he loves playing against the Newcastle Knights. That's his ninth try and nine appearances against them. And gee, back in 2016, we saw that the Canberra Raiders had that run and nearly come so close to making a grand final. But that's the sort of football they were playing. Supporting each other, offload, little trust, understanding who's got a pass in them. and really pushing forward. It really suits them. And, uh, hopefully we see a bit more of that in uh, 2018. I still get the feeling though, if the momentum will swing, it'll happen, and Newcastle will get their shot. And with Pierce and Ponga, they're going to be hard to keep out. Paulo. He's been wonderful. Now White. So fighting their front at the moment. Avili throws it back, picked up by Williams. Whiten. Whiten. He's been great as well for the Raiders. Very dangerous. Gum. It's a good run. He's hurt himself there. It looked like something went on. Right. He's clutching in his groin. See him really overextend the area. Looks like he's, he's either done a groin or he... Hold on to his boot bags. It's never, never pleasant. He's in some discomfort, whatever it is. Yeah. Interesting that Ricky Stewart has, has brought Harvilli back into the fray. This is, this is a good run. Oh. He's, he's just run through a few tests there, some, some groin tests. 
from his trainer just to see the strength in, the, in his groin and does not look good signs for Charlie Gubb. He's in a lot of discomfort. Yeah. Try and run it out. Yeah, yeah Habili into the action to, in his second stanza, coming in to the lock position and causing all sorts of havoc. Different body shape, a little nugget. Getting his arm free, creating some second phase football, and the Raiders love that. Brings White and it brings Croker. All their attacking weapons into the fray. Williams now to White. This is Whitehead. He's been wonderful. Williams down the short side. That's out the full, so the Knights are going to get this. It's not the right option there from Sam Williams. He's gotten his time over again. Disappointed with the call. We'll see. He goes to a very narrow short side. And kicks it out on the full. And an easy turnover for the Newcastle Knights who, through Fitzgibbon, are up over the, the 40 metre line now through Ross. So the Knights, with a rare chance with the ball, have been starved of possession. Now Hyington. So Watson goes down the short side to SASA. Canberra controlling the football there. So now to Pierce. Pierce gets it on to Ponga. Ponga to Moga. Moga to Ross. Ross puts it on the toe. This is a try! Almost a carbon copy of the last time, but this time. Connor Watson gets it down. Okay, tackle five, Chibs. We have a try. Just confirm they are onside off the kick inside. Well, he's so tenacious. Oh, right. Connor Watson, they're onside. Ross kicks. Rapina, he lunges desperately. Newcastle kick chase is cleared as onside. And you can see on your screen both Lamp and Watson pushing through the centre. This Ball's time, picked up cleanly and grounded in the Watson end goal. gets right. it right, and the Knights are right back in this contest. Well, you just got the feeling that when they had the opportunity to get down there, there were points. And on the back of six penalties, it's an impossible pass to get down that end of the field. So it was almost, as I said, a carbon copy of what had happened when Connor Watson dropped the football. The Look same people involved. Look how square him and... Caelan Ponga play. It isolates the Raiders defenders. And then back through the centre, Watson. And every time they have been in an attacking position tonight, the Newcastle Knights, that man Caelan Ponga has been involved. And he's come up trumps every time. Moga did very well as, as well. He's been a find. He, he's certainly evolved over the last few years at the Roosters, Connor Watson. And he's been impressive here this evening in the nation's capital as Ponga looks to put it within two. It's going to come around. He's got it. So it's 28-26. We've got 14 minutes of play, which is a lifetime to score points. So Gubb has come off. Charlie Gubb. So he's groin tried to run it out. And Bateman's come back into the action for the Raiders. And I don't know if we're going to see Shannon Boyd. I mean, there's 14 minutes remaining, and you would imagine after that stick he had in the first half that if Ricky Stewart could get him back into the action, he would do so now as Lilliman. Well, yeah, you'd sure he's got to come back. The only reason you, you wouldn't put him back on and we, as we cut the lead would be an injury. Get it out. So the momentum shifts again. SASA. Been strong. Been really strong as Herman. Some fresh legs out there. But he's chomping at the bit to get it. Picks. Fitzgibbon. So another tackle. Pierce again the short side. Soliola comes to take it. So the last tackle. It's been a good game. Almost 70 metres. 
ball will land, he puts it in the air. They've got some chases coming through. What happened here? So it's gone to White. Wrap it up. Italia wraps him up. He's come from the other side of the field again, Jordan Rappiner. He just works tirelessly for the Canberra Raiders. This is Papali. Just got your wish there, guys. Big Shannon boys is about to enter the field, and I guess the Canberra Raiders fans have as well. So what Newcastle need here now is not to give them another piggyback. Absolutely. And get them to work with their kicks so they can get the ball in a reasonable position. So Boyd, that's his first touch back on. Austin, one quick hit on the front guy. Good tackle from the town who ran it well. Managed to get the ball back to Rafa after sorry Papali. So there's some desperation now on the defence of Newcastle. They know when they've got the ball, the momentum is with them. So Austin, he's going to try and put it in touch, and he does so. So that's good game management. He'll give his mob a, a spell here. Well, he's taking control. There's Blake Olsen, Sam Williams, the previous set, went down, kicked that out on the full down the short side. The Knights went the other end and scored. So Austin, he's been in everything for the Raiders this evening. He's been running the ball, which has been great to see. That's when he's at his best, Matt. Yeah, that, that's his greatest strength. Puts the defensive line in two minds with, his, with the ball in two hands and the footwork that he possesses. And the Newcastle Knights trailing by two. Kenny Dow. Ponga rushes away from one. It's Papali over the top, slowing him down. The Roston. Whoop. Monster Whoop. by Boyd <laughs> and Havila. The eyes lit up then when you saw Shannon Boyd in front of him. USA, USA, that's a good run. Getting his arms free. It's been a good performance since coming back on. The short side again, good ball from Pierce. If it's given. What's Pierce puts it in the air. White's gonna have that uncontested. And Lilliman who's back on makes the tackle. Raiders big men feeling the pinch at the moment. He's in some trouble here, Whitehead. Elliot Whitehead. Look to be clutching at a back. You see here, Lilliman hits him low and then SA, SA over the top, just bends him back. Yeah, you can see the pain on his face as he... It's been good, Herman, SA, SA. Since coming on, it's been wonderful. Really taking it. To the Canberra Raiders forward pack. Spot on, you're spot on, Mick. It's real evident the leg speed of Herman. He gets him behind that ruck and he gets to start to get that hand free as well. And as I said, the Knights are a real offloading team, but as they develop these combinations start over the, the next few rounds, Kalen Ponga hanging around there is going to be really nice through the middle thirds. He's a whitehead who's been close to Canberra's best. He scored two tries. Now boy to be eager to get the ball in his hands. Williams. Now Austin. White. Dangerous every time he touches the ball. It's a tackle for Avili. Giving him something extra as a runner. Austin puts it in the air. It's going to come down for Ponga. They try. They've got a penalty. He loses confidence, doesn't he? Can't bring up. The penalties have dried up, Matty, for a while. This is the first one for quite some time. And Pierce wants to get on with things. As we see, Carlin Ponga. What a take. Just... Well, Mitchell Pierce can feel that with the ball in their hands, there's a real chance every time they get down there. That's why he's rallying the troops and getting moving as quickly as he can. He must think that. Some sense that Canberra are fatiguing. 
Now Lilliman. I'd like to see Watson get out of dummy half here with his speed and really challenge these Raiders big men. I think he could be a point of difference. SASA. SA. So centre field. Pierce down this side again, which they're loving. He's oh. into the clear. Throws the ball back and it went right. Well, he got into the clear. Well, he did everything right, Caelan Ponga, except the final pass. Couldn't find the support on the inside. Blistering speed and footwork again from the young superstar. And the Raiders survive. You just get the feeling, though, Mick, that... They're coming for them. They are. And we're going to knock on. So Newcastle are going to be in a perfect situation here. Well, they're fatiguing, Matt. This is just a simple play the ball error. It's sloppy there from Papali. He gets it all wrong. And the Newcastle Knights with a huge opportunity. And they're sitting ground level here, guys. The energy's all with the Newcastle Knights. That was a huge error. What about the first class seat that Lachlan Fitzgibbon's got there when he's just having Kalen Ponga hanging around? He's just got to run a really good line, Lachlan Fitzgibbon, and everything can open up for Kalen. So Pierce down this side again. Ponga again with that footwork. He's just so dangerous with a ball in his hands. Moga. Pierce, here they come. Lilliman. Mitchell Pierce, SASA, gets the ball back. Pierce has got it in his oh. hands. He doesn't want to go to there with it. Now on the Griffin. Griffin on the Potter. It's a tackle three. Caesar slowing it down well. So where do they go here? Pierce again. This is Brock, uh, Brock Lamb, I think. Great tackle, Jared Croker. Read that beautifully. Watson, Pierce, ball to Jordan Ontario. You can feel it coming. And that was Mitchell Pierce rallying his troops all the way back down the other end of the field. He knew as well. Camera fatigued and the momentum shifted and it was simple in the end. Well, you come up with fundamental errors at critical moments in the game and the quality playmakers make you pay. Papali came up with a simple error in the play of the ball and Pierce. Beautiful sleight of hand. Matautia, the former back rower, slams into the hole through the Raiders' defence. And it is a master class in the second half here from Mitchell Pearce. What a play, what a line, what a moment. Sione Matautia. You can feel it coming. They've been peppering down the left-hand side with Ponga. And it comes back on the other side to this man, Mataria. The good halves, they play across both sides of the field. Pierce, he's been asking questions all evening down that left-hand side of the field with Ponga. This time, he swings to the right-hand side. And Mataria responded. He's laying down the law here. And now, all of a sudden, the ball's in the Raiders' court. And this is a big kick from Ponga. So the Raiders are going to kick down. They're going to work for a mistake. If they can get that, the momentum will shift again. So Ponga to try and get them to four ahead. Is it going to come around? No. So again, to Betsy. Yeah, there's one thing that's really obvious. When you're playing with really good established halves like Mitchell Pearce is, you have a real unforgiving line. It's off the back rowers or your centers. They're really confident to run those lines. Lachlan Fitzgibbon on the other side, very confident to do that line because he knows there's going to be some space off the back of Mitchell Pearce. And on the right, as you saw just there, there's a try assist and a line break assist. Every time you run a good line off this bloke here, Mitchell Pearce. So just over five minutes left. Look at him barking the instructions to Newcastle number seven. This result means something to him. So here they go. Lilliman. Get out of here, boys! 
It's been a highly entertaining game of football. Fitzgibbon, the big future. I don't know if we've seen the last twist in the tail here, Matt. Oh, I don't think we have either. Now Safidi. They're good tonight. The Twins have been very, very good. So this is a good set. They're fighting the front. Ross out of dummy half. We'll look to get up and play it quickly. Which he does. Griffin. Griffin. He had Pong on the outside. Chose not to use him. Pierce. He's going to slow it down. He raced to get in there to dummy half, Mitchell. Yeah, he's in everything at the moment. The Newcastle number seven. Barking instructions. You could see the Newcastle side just gathering around the ruck. Around the play the ball dummy. Half runs just pushing through that centre third. And Pierce knew exactly what he wanted to do. He needed to find touch. And the Raiders now deep inside their own half. Rapana one wide off the scrum. So Bateman taking it from the behind. Wrapping it out. Beats one, beats another. And we've got a penalty here for Canberra. And here we go. A momentum swing. It's exactly what we spoke about. And Blake Austin's going to play as quickly as he can here. There's Newcastle moving backwards. And Canberra with their tails in the air. It can change quickly and the crowd's behind them. Louis. So three and a half minutes left to play. What can the Raiders do? Williams, Austin. Looks dangerous, doesn't it? Every time he runs the football. White. Louis comes around, doubles around it. White the game. It's a tackle three. Croker, Williams, Louis. So they're going to have Williams on one side and Austin on the other. Where are they going to go? They go to Boyd. So this is the last tackle. We'll be working for a repeat set. Or to compete in the air. What do they do? They're going to run it. Croker throws it back. Contrick puts it on the foot. And so in the end, not what they wanted. Well, the Knights brave again. They rolled the dice. Sam Williams found his captain. But Matautia and Kenny Dow, defensively terrific. And the Knights are holding on. They needed a repeat set there. The momentum was with them. And for compete in the air. Now SASA, who's been great. Last tackle. Mitchell is inside the 40 here. It's going to be a huge one. Oh, Rapper keeping it in play. But he's got to bring it off his own goal line. And the Knights are down there in numbers. And Griffin, great tackle. And the Raiders are slow to get back. White, Croker, the Tauria right on him. Rapper has been that good tonight. He's been two entities. Sometimes he's Rapper. Now I call him Rapper. He's been everywhere, hasn't he? <laughs> The change of name, he's been superb. So the Raiders are all back now, tackle three. So Whitehead's working for a penalty. That's what the Knights, the Knights don't need. Louis now. So we've got a minute. Boyd. He's turning around, he's looking to offload. He's, he's still going. So the last tackle, what do they do? Austin, oh, Austin's put it on the toe, and they've got it back with Fitzgibbon, so that could be it. He's been terrific, Fitzgibbon. He had a great game. Both him and Guerra. Look at Brownie, he's riding every emotion, barking instructions into the walkie-talkie as Ross up over the 30-metre line. So they're going to play it down here. Kenny Dow with a good run. Croker trying a strip one-on-one. -on -one. So 
It was appealed to have the ball. Five seconds left. Guerra's going to put that down and just go to ground with it. Two, one. And Newcastle go back to back here at GIA Stadium in Canberra. But a highly entertaining game of football. Both sides have had their moments. Both sides have scored some wonderful tries. And in the end, it was just that last switch of momentum that Mitchell Pearce could feel.